Hello friends, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, it's something new I'm trying out. I made a post in the Thrifty Jewelry Treasures Facebook group about um, telling us about your best jewelry sell of the week. So, um, so this show is going to be titled uh, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures Member Profits. And if, and if all goes well, <laughs> it's something that I will do on a weekly basis. I just think it's a really uh, fun idea to um, grab information from our members of the group and um, see what everybody's selling and how much profit they're making. So um, Catherine says that she can see me and Barb says that you can hear me or you guys can hear me. So that's awesome. Um, I did decide to go ahead and put in my earbuds. Uh, my kids are home. My son is playing that Xbox game in the living room, and it's one of those games where he can talk with his friends, so sometimes they get a little loud. <laughs> so um, I decided to go ahead and uh, put my earbuds in. But I wanna say hi to everybody in the chat, and please accept my apologies for being an hour late, uh, rescheduling that to an hour later. Um, mom duties, that's all I have to say. <laughs> So things happen, right? So I wanna say hi to Steve and Steph, Resale Killers, hello. And Catherine and Lonnie's here and Mike and Pixlin's Place and um, uh, Lens Wims, hello. And Henry's here. And Barb, did I already say you Barb? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm just scrolling through looking real quick. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. And Darlene's here. Hello. And Tiff's Thrifts. And Dawn. Hey, Dawn. And Julie is here. Hello. Um, and Karen's at the beach. Yay. Welcome. And Arlene, hello. Hey, Cindy. Okay. So let's get started. So most of this um, show is just going to be screen sharing. So, um, and Pamela's here. Hello. So, um, Let's get started. I'm a little rusty. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> so let me go ahead and start my screen share. Now, not too many members participated this first time around. Um, I wasn't sure if maybe they were unsure what I was trying to do, but hopefully um, they'll see this video. And, um, you know, if they want to share their store name, you know, maybe, maybe people will go and follow them. Uh, it might be fun for everybody. So, and I am so... <laughs> I'm so off. I forgot to even share this on my Facebook page. Oh my goodness. But um, looks like a lot of you guys made it here. So that's good. So um, hello, Gail. Um, and Krista's coupons is here. Welcome. It says your Facebook link in your description box doesn't work. I did put a link in the jewelry group. Is it not working? That's not good. Princess Casserole. Carla is here. Hello. Okay, well, hopefully after I'm finished with this, I'll put the um, link uh, and go check out what's going on in the jewelry group. So if you guys um, would like to join the jewelry group, the link is down in the description box below. It is Thrifty Jewelry Treasures on Facebook. Okay, so let me go ahead and start screen sharing. Hello, Exceptional Treasures, Monica, welcome. Okay, so the first ones that I'm gonna share are going to be ones that I sold. Hopefully you guys can see that whole screen. And just know that while I am screen sharing, I am not seeing your comments. I guess I could pull it up on my phone. Hang on one second, let me do that real quick. So this bracelet, you guys, um, and I, I don't even want to try and say it. I know I'm probably going to chop, chop this up. You have St. Laurent. So it was a really cute gold tone little charm bracelet with their logo there, um, a perfume and bottle. I don't even want to try and say it. I know oh I'm my goodness, chop, that's chop me. You have St. Laurent. Sorry about that. So it was a really cute gold tone. Oh my gosh, charm. be quiet, Tanya. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. oh, great. Now the UPS guy is here, so the dogs are going to start barking. <laughs> Okay. All right. Now I can see you guys in the chat because I can see you on my phone. So Catherine Tom Thompson is here. Hello. Welcome. 
Okay, so back to the bracelet. I am easily sidetracked, y'all. I do apologize. So I picked this up um, for $2.99 a couple weekends ago, and I saw that one just like it had sold on eBay for $69.99. And it was so funny because I made a post on my regular Facebook, and um, I can't remember who it was right now, but somebody that I know, it, they, they were actually the ones that sold this bracelet. <laughs> for uh, $69.99, so it was really a small world. Um, but so yeah, um, huge profit on that, you guys. So anytime you see these logos like this, um, I, would, I would just go ahead and always pick them up. Except for the Dior one. I've seen those Dior like charm bra bracelets and they have like a, a big D and a letter I. I'm not sure what those are, but don't buy those. I see them often, they're plentiful and they're not worth anything. Um, so let's see. Let me close that one. Okay, now this one I sold a couple weeks ago also. I've had this one for quite some time. It is a, um, it's a, a rare sterling silver chihuahua uh, pen brooch. This is made by H&H &H Hand Hammer Silversmiths. And um, hello, Highway Bus, welcome. <laughs> Okay, you guys are talking amongst yourselves. Okay, that's good. So I've had this for so long, I cannot even remember exactly what I paid for it, but I know it wasn't more than probably $4. And it did sell for $59.99. And let me just uh, show you the logo. I feel like this is a pretty rare thing because I this is the only piece of sterling silver by, these, um, by this brand that I've ever seen. So you can see right there, it's hallmarked. Um, so yeah, super cute pen. A lot of, uh, my friends were shocked that I didn't keep this one since it was a Chihuahua, but I'm really not so much a, um, silver girl as I am a gold girl, um, natural redhead. So, uh, gold just really goes good with my skin tone better than silver. So, and you guys are probably going to be seeing some of these jewelry, uh, sales again, whenever I eventually do a sales update. Um, Pamela says her chat is stuck, so try refreshing, Pamela. Hopefully that will help. Okay, um, now this is the last one that I'm going to share of mine. This one right here, I paid um, $5 for this, and it is titled Stun Stunning Vintage Leopard Head Knocker Choker Necklace Gold Tone. And so this didn't actually have, it wasn't hallmarked by anyone. I didn't see any markings on it. But it was just really unique looking. So, of course, you know me, I asked a lot for it. I'm trying to get it to get bigger, but it doesn't seem like it wants to um, for some reason. But, yeah, really cool. It's got some little um, rhinestones in there. And the eyes were stones, too. So, um, it sold for $39.99. And like I said, I only paid five dollars for that. So just you know, and I I tend to gravitate towards animal themed jewelry. Um, I'll usually pick it up, just like this one, even if it's not hallmarked or signed by anybody. Okay, so let me close this and figure out where I'm going here in my chat. I don't want to show you that yet. I don't want to show you that. Where am I going? What am I looking for? This is what I'm looking for. Okay, so um, Cynthia in our group, she posted this as her sale, and she she bought this for fifty cents, and it sold for thirty seven dollars and fifty six cents. So the title reads: Huge designer brooch necklace pendant, Linda Day's fox pearl cross three point five inch gold tone. And it's really a unique designer. I had never even heard of this designer before. So the designer is Linda Day. And actually, Cynthia even said she had a hard time finding any kind of uh, information regarding this designer. Um, so it is a pendant. It can be worn as a pendant or it can be worn as a brooch. So 50 cents into $37.56, that is a good deal for sure. Uh, Hopefully y'all can't hear my son in there. 
screaming and yelling. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's close this one out. Let me figure out where I'm at real quick. Okay, I think next time I should put these in order. That's not where I want to be. Y'all are just going to see everything before I get to where I want to be. This is where I want to be. Okay, so Catherine and our group shared this sale. She paid $1 for this at a barn sale, and it sold for $37. And the title reads, Vintage Goldet Fox Turquoise Silver Tone Squash Blossom Necklace Southwestern. Now, um, she didn't actually share the link to this, so I had to do had to go look for it myself. And I guess this type of necklace, this style here, the design pattern, I think it must have something to do with a keyword. I guess when you're describing it would be squash. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, Barb is saying, Tanya, I should send you the Dior one. The Dior what? What do you have, Barb? Tell me about it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, really super cool necklace. And I don't, I don't know that it's Hallmark. I don't think that it is. Let's see. Oh, wait, maybe it is. And I cannot read that. Oh, I remember now. I guess the group, I meant the group. I guess it's Hallmark to Goldette. I'm pretty sure that is the name of the designer. So, and I've never found this designer personally myself before. I know Angie, uh, Treasured Vintage, Angie Martin has said that she has uh, seen it before, I believe. Yeah, Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen. She says, I wonder how they came up with the squash. I don't know. It's really interesting, though, huh? Um, so, yeah. Awesome sale, Catherine. All right, let me do something real quick here so I don't get confused. Okay, so let me see where I'm going. Okay, this is where I want to be. So um, Wendy in our group shared this cell. She said that she got this ring in a lot of nine pieces that she bought on a Facebook uh, group, uh, probably a local group. There were nine pieces, and eight of the pieces were Mark James Avery, and she got all of the pieces for $40, you guys. What an amazing deal that was. And she sold the, just this one ring in particular for $39.99. So she recouped her money back off of one piece. So that was really quick. But it got me to thinking about this, um, and hopefully I'm saying this right. The title reads, Lovely James Avery Adorned Claw Doll Ring Part hands ring sterling silver size eight um really pretty ring and it got me to thinking you know because every time ever so often i will come across this um a jewelry and this uh style shaped like this and i always forget what it is so i really wanted to commit to memory so i thought that together oh my gosh son please stop screaming sorry y'all um, so I thought together we would look at the Wikipedia and um, read it. It says the Claw Doll Ring, it's Irish, is a tr traditional Irish ring given which represents love, loyalty, and friendship. Um, the hands represent friendship, the heart represents love, and the crown represents loyalty. So I thought that was really interesting. And then you're never going to guess what happened. Let me close this. So... Um, let me come back over here. Hang on. Let me close that. Hang on. We're going to get to that. Let me stop screen sharing for a second. Okay. So you're never going to believe what happens. So after, okay, I got all my research, all my pages open because I knew I was going to be doing this video sometime whenever I came back home. And, um, I went by the thrift store and it was just in this little bag. I just took it out. I paid $12.99 for it. But look what I found. Can you believe it? I mean, what are the chances? So I was, I pulled up all that information before I even left the house and I went. And this wasn't um, the only one. There was actually two of them. But the other one, the other one was just uh, marked 925. But this one was marked 925. 
and it looks like um, there's an A and a V on there. So I'm hoping it's James Avery. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research and uh, look into that as well. And if you guys um, are interested in learning more about the uh, James Avery brand, <gasps> Steven Steffs in a super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, they say virtual claw bell ring for you, Tanya. Hugs and kisses. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Um, now I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> that happens easily, unfortunately. Where was I going? I was going to say something about this. I can't remember. Um, oh, yeah, now I remember. So if you guys are interested in learning more about uh, James Avery Jewelry, you can go to their website and you, you can request a catalog. And they will send you a catalog for free. And um, I just collect mine. I keep mine. They're great to have for reference. They usually send them out for like um, all the special occasions, like for Mother's Day. Um, I just got one in the mail today. Uh, it's probably for Valentine's uh, Day. And um, I think there's a spring one, a Christmas. I mean, there's just all kinds of them. And you can even buy, and I've even sold James Avery catalogs on eBay as well. So it's just a nice uh, little reference to have at your fingertips then that you can get for free. And plus it's a good idea also to read the descriptions for keywords too, not just for James Avery jewelry, but other jewelry you might be listing as well. There might be some good keywords in there that you could uh, use. Uh, Rise and Grind Picker Shane is here, hello. Oh my goodness, we're talking about spider hugs. <laughs> so, um, okay. Uh, Catherine is asking, where do you request it from? Okay, well, let's just go to their website and check it out. So let me screen share again. Um, okay, so hopefully you see me screen sharing again. And we are going to go to James Avery. Uh, let's see, jamesavery.com. And James Avery is definitely a Southern type of jewelry. They're in Texas and I forget what other states I should know, but I, I'm pretty sure it's all, all this, a lot of the Southern states. So let's see, I can request a catalog. I want to make sure I don't hit the stop screen sharing button. Okay, let's see. Necklaces, Valentine's Day. Why am I not seeing it? Let's put my email address in and see what happens. Email address has been added. Okay, now don't make a liar out of me, people. Sign in, find a store. There's not very many options, is there? All right, let me go back. James Avery. Well, I got really sidetracked here, didn't I? Request a catalog. Let's see. Okay, so request a catalog, James Avery. Okay, so here's where you can do it. Hopefully you guys um, saw the links that it's went to. So there's the link. You can see it's uh, www.jamesavery.com slash pages slash request dash jewelry dash catalog. So um, fill out this information here and um, they will start sending you um, catalogs and they'll send them for a while. I've been getting catalogs for a couple of years now, if not longer. And um, yeah, great re resource to have. Okay, <clears throat> so let me close this out. Let me figure out where I'm going next. Close that. Now, um, Maria in our group, she shared a lot of um, great pickups, real gold that she has found lately. Um, she shared this one pair of earrings here in particular. I just wanted to share. I'm not going to 
say where she got them, but she did buy them at a thrift store and she paid $3.99 as you can see right there on the sticker. And if you look right here, hopefully you can see where my little mouse cursor is, it says 14 karat gold right there on the back of that clip earring. So what an amazing find. And those are probably really uh, real pearls too. I forget the exact weight that she said, but I want to say I'm almost pretty, I'm pretty sure she said <clears throat> um, 8.5 grams. So that's, um, that's a nice little chunk of change there for $3.99. Okay. Shane is asking, what is a claw doll ring? Oh, we just, you just missed it. It is a ring that represents, what did we say, you guys? It represents friendship and loyalty. And was the other one love? I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. So let's go ahead and go on to the next member share. And that is going to be these vintage sterling silver abalone dangle earrings, signed 925. Um, Angela and our group shared this. She bought these for $5 at an estate sale. Oh, yeah, that's right, Don. Don Maserati says love, loyalty, and friendship. Yes, perfect. Now you are in the know, Shane. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, so um, Angela bought this pair of earrings for five dollars at an estate sale. I know, right, Kathleen? Aren't they gorgeous? And um, they sold for $49.95. And you guys, they were just marked 925 sterling, so no special designer, so that is really. That's that's an amazing profit. Really nice. I don't know how on some listings you can um, like hover over the picture and then zoom in, but sometimes they don't do that. I don't know why. But yeah, they are gorgeous. I would wear these. I love abalone. I mean, I like some silver. So those are really, really pretty. Um, let's see. Okay, and so Angie had so many awesome sales that she just decided to screenshot some sales she had had on Etsy recently. And um, she had also said that she didn't pay more than, I believe she said, 50 cents for these pieces. So here is a pair of... Um, Classic textured gold tone ring interlocking rings pierced earrings. And she sold those for $12.95. And it looks like Angie had a really good sale here. It looks like she sold 21 items to one person. And look how much money she made. $469.75. That is amazing, Angie. So... That one, and then I wanted to share Lynn's. Uh, this is Lynn Marston. Lynn also has a YouTube channel. She's just starting out, so everybody go sub to her and show her some love. It is Lynn's Whims on YouTube. Correct me if I'm wrong, Lynn, if you're still here. Um, yeah, there she is in the chat. So just hover over her name, and you should be able to subscribe to her channel. But she loves jewelry as well. She also has a group on Facebook called Lens Whims where she actually um, sells jewelry as well. So be sure to check that out also. She picked this up um, in a bag of broken jewelry. And she sold it for $30. Can't beat that. And look, I um, have another picture here of the back. So it's 10 karat gold. And there you can see it is um, stamped Talmart 10K. Awesome. So I believe that is all that I have to share. Um, I did want to let you guys know that um, this Saturday night, 
is the MSP auction show on Dwayne's channel, Mothership Products here on YouTube. And um, Debbie and her husband, Max, are going to be um, a guest on the show. And they are going to be auctioning off this jewelry that you see here in the picture. So um, always go check out the auction show on Saturday night on Mothership Products because usually somebody's auctioning off a jewelry jar. And um, it's a lot of fun bidding on those and seeing what they sell for. So, and they also have a YouTube channel. It is called Debbie and Max Go Thrifting. So be sure to subscribe to them and check them out as well. So I think I've shared everything now. So let me come back over here. Okay. So hopefully you can see me again now. I'm, I do apologize. I haven't been looking at the chat a whole lot. Um, see what you guys are talking about. I guess I can look at it on my screen now. Let me close that. Okay, now I can see the chat and everything side by side, which is good. Okay. And Laura Bells is here, hello. Okay, so hopefully um, if you guys are watching this video later and you are in the Thrifty Jewelry Treasures group on Facebook, hopefully uh, next week when I put up the post, um, it is my hope that you will go and um, put a link for your best jewelry sale, whether it was on Etsy, whether it was on a local Facebook site, um, whether it was on eBay, wherever you might have sold it, I would like to um, include it in my video here so that we can all gain some more knowledge about jewelry, what to buy, you know, what to look for, and what kind of profits we can expect on it. So um, let me think if there's anything else. Okay, wait. Okay, Rising Grind Picker Shane is saying, I had a jewelry jar on a large lot. I bought, I went, I haven't went there. You have jewelry sitting in your house that you haven't gone through, Shane? What? Yes, that's a good idea, Steph. Shane, you need to come on the Jewelry Detective Show with Angie and Monica and myself. That'd be so much fun. Lydia's here, hello, welcome. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to talk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a message, Shane. <laughs> yes, and uh, Princess Casserole Carla is um, already booked. I'm pretty sure you already booked for an upcoming show. So we're excited to have Carla back. She's already been on the show once before. And um, she has uh, graciously agreed to come back on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Highway bus to say, Antonia, can you sing Yellow Rose of Texas for us, please? No, I'm a horrible singer. Seriously, really. You don't want me to sing. Hello, Perla's Jewelry Box. Welcome. So yes, our next jewelry show is going to be, I wrote it down. I made some notes, you guys. And Uniquely Me is here. Hello, welcome. Um, let's see, we talked about the MSP auction show. Okay, so the next Jewelry Detective show is going to be on Wednesday the 24th. So we do the Jewelry Detective show every other Wednesday, with the exception we do not do it the first Wednesday of every month because that on the first Wednesday of every month, I do the um, antique booth uh, talk show with Jen and um, Tammy, which is a ton of fun. If you guys are into an antiques at all, um, we have a group too for that. It's called Antique Booth Talk on Facebook. Would love to see you over there. Hey, Walter, how are you? Um, Catherine says, did you ever get Rockstar Flipper to go through that big bag of jewelry he had when you were on his show? <laughs> That's hilarious. No, I didn't. I need to ask him about that, as a matter of fact. Thank you for the reminder, Catherine. And um, Marcy is here. Hello. Okay, Shane, thanks for stopping by. Bye. Um, let's see, Highway Bus says, it's okay that um, they'll hum it in my honor. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 
So yeah, that is all I got. Um, hello, Deb's Treasures. Uh, hello, Steve Elkhorn. So yeah, I'm super excited about this video idea. I really hope that it takes off because instead of just hearing about like what I'm buying and selling, you can see what other members, um, what other people who like jewelry are picking up and what kind of profits they're getting. So um, again, I can't stress enough, come join the jewelry group. It's uh, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures on Facebook. And um, I guess that's all I got. I will be putting out a sales update video soon. I still have not even done November or December yet, <laughs> but it's okay. I don't get a ton of sales every month, so it shouldn't take me that long to put it all together. I will be um, working on that really soon because I do need to get caught up. I might even do January 1st and then just kind of go, go back and try and get to November and December, but I need to do that really quick so that I can screen share because I know that eBay only keeps that stuff up for like um, a few months, three months, I think it is. So um, Laura Bell says, that is an awesome idea. Thanks for doing this. Yay, you're welcome. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Um, let's see, Pixel and Space says, what do you put in the listing if you don't know what kind of metal something is? I usually won't even even say what kind of metal, metal it is. I know that there's options like alloy and stuff like that, but if I really need to know, I would probably make a post in um, the Thrifty Jewelry Treasures uh, Facebook group and ask everybody what they think and go from there. <laughs> so, um, 53 viewers. Yay. Thanks everybody for being here. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's a good idea too, Steph. I always say that silver tone or gold tone. Definitely. I say that for sure when I don't know what kind of metal it is because I'm not, I don't know my metals. And so I always say that definitely Steph, thank you for the reminder. Um, in my listings, if you go and look, uh, I am a couture door on eBay. And you can see all my listings, and I say silver tone and gold tone all the time. Yes, definitely. It is okay to say gold tone for sure. And I usually put that, I'm pretty sure I usually put that as two separate words. Um, but I know that it's kind of half and half. People put it all as one word, some people separate it. So that's awesome. All right, so I don't have anything else. Um, if you guys think of any questions after I'm gone, please uh, come back and leave me a comment uh, down below and I will happily answer it for you. And uh, Sunday, we'll be doing the reseller six pack, you guys. I'm pretty sure it is going to be on Andy's channel this Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Andy is the parrot head picker on uh, YouTube. So you wanna go over there and subscribe to him. And make sure you click the bell to get updates so you know when we are going live. Okay, so that's all I got. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Bye, everybody.